I'm not, yeah, all right, fair enough, fair enough. But, nonetheless, it is Palutena versus Peach once again. See how Ling Ling adapts this time against a different style of Palutena, I feel. Ray and Adi take a different approach to the character. They use the tools very similarly as there's some good tools here. But Ray has been showing that he can get a bit more aggressive with the character, and he has a lot of confidence with his position with the character. Where Adi highlights a lot of the good movement of Palutena, Ray really goes to show like, what these tools can accomplish. Yeah, and speaking of Palu's tools, we saw Odyssey do a great job challenging Ling Ling in the air. The the dogfight, if you will, between these two characters seems to be a little stressful for Peach, and we're seeing it both not just what Odyssey did in their last set, but also what we're seeing from Ray right now. Air to air, I feel like Ray's been winning most of the exchange. There you go. Look at the pressure too. Just the range that Palu has, you know, both forward air and on her shield. And you can't challenge the back air either. The yeah. shield, yeah, the invulnerability on the shield is crazy strong, so. On the plus side of things for Peach, floating makes a lot of her aerial pressure not as committal because Lincoln threatened with, say, for instance, back air or forward air and still dip out. Like, he doesn't have to over worry about overextending with his aerials while still threatening with massive damage. Jump out by Ray, but he was able to get, but Ling was able to get the punish. Then we have Ling trying to cash in at the ledge here. Let's see if he can find. Oh, he, he committed with the float right there, and Ray, good recognition, used the, air, used the directional air dodge, but here we go. Ray on the hunt for the stock. Up air, explosive flame, Nair. There's so many good options right now. It's going to be the Nair, and it's barely going to take the stop. Well played by Utopian Ray. And there was even really good DI from Ling Ling. It was just too far into the yeah. stock. And I feel like it's just a matter that Ling and managed Ooh, to... That shield like, is small. That's a small Ooh, shield. Ooh. It doesn't matter, though, because he was in the disadvantage. So Ling was in the disadvantage, so whatever. It doesn't matter how small Utopian's Ray shield is. But at the ledge, Ling's forward air, going to clean that stock up. And I feel like this is very, very reminiscent of what we saw in Ling versus Odyssey, where Ling was always kind of trying to fight back the stock deficit, but then the Palutena would fight back and just start comboing. But speaking of combos, here comes Peach. Really strong stuff right there. 40, almost 40% 40 on that one from Ling Ling. Yeah, when it comes to combos, you can never count out Peach, man. So they're always looking to make the Twitch clip happen. Yeah, we saw what happened day one when this game dropped, when everyone wasn't playing for two weeks, you know? We saw all the clips. <laughs> all right, down air, Ling Ling reaching with the forward air. It does not connect, though. Good platform ca or edge cancel there by Utopian Ray. It's just such a good movement option. I mean, a lot of people are, ooh, the snag and the nair. Hold on. Oh! Turn up in hand, get Ling Ling out of the air. He tried good to follow tomorrow. up with a nair, too. After He tried to play off the bounce of the turn up. Very nice stuff from Utopian Ray. He likes to be cheeky in his play sometimes. Yes, yeah, totally. Okay, forward tilt right there, catching Ling Ling again. Recovering with Peach seems really hard in this matchup. We've seen so many Palus just fight him and find a lot of success, especially with that back air eating up his jump and then forcing him to up B early and then just waiting for him to fade close enough towards the ledge and back airing. It's just been the game plan you know, for Odyssey and also for Utopian Ray here, Hangman. Yeah, look at the way that Ling Ling is still looking to pressure onto Ray. Like, he doesn't care that he's on last stock. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care how brutal that last stock was for him. Like, he's still looking to turn the screws. He sees the 92% that's on Ray, and he's not backing down from being able to take that out because this is still a very doable battle. Right. Ling Ling's a soldier, you know what I'm saying? Like he, like, he, like you said, he's, he's kind of quiet in real life, but when he's playing Smash, what's the gameplay talk for himself? But Utopian Ray taking off with this lead. Again, the dogfight is just really, really hard for Peach. Looking for the forward air, too, and Ray is just throwing out that back air over and over, almost landing the explosive flame, too. This offense from Ray is nuts right now. I think he's looking for a down air there, too. Yeah, he's been winning a lot of down air in this match, and we've seen... Ooh! The... What a tech! Yeah, he, Save this jump, too? <laughs> Yo, we got the whole package with Ling Ling. That was nuts. And I think he's just kind of had enough of just dying off stage. You know, he's like, you know what? You know what? You guys got it. I'm going to respect that back air. I'm going to save my jump. I don't care what happens to me beforehand. I'm going to get back to the stage. Ling Ling, though, still on the hunt for Ray's second stock, and he finds it right there. The forward air challenging the teleport, barely able to grasp uh, Utopian Ray. <laughs> This stare at 24, by the way. 24. That was yeah. huge. Yeah, turnups are no joke now. They're a really Seriously. solid item. Ooh. And that's just base turnup. That's not counting dot eye or less stitch face come out. But let's let's hope not. Let's hope the Ling magic stays away. Wait, wait, hold on a second. He has not pulled a stitch face on string yet. There? Yeah. Not enough. I thought it might be. It was close. But now, oh, oh, you doink like that. Shout out to Goofy from Kingdom Hearts because I felt that one. <laughs> 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 that back air, what a tool, as we've seen you know, in the last two Peach Palutena sets you know, in this matchup. The back air is just such an amazing tool. KOs, covers the air-to-air -air very well. It's just you can't really challenge it. It's just really good. So Utopian Ray taking that one game one down pretty convincingly, i got to say. 
Yeah, it's it's all about that upper body and vulnerability that the shield offers. We see it every so often from dash attack when that comes in clutch, but Ray's putting in so much use from the back air just so he can constantly challenge Ling in the air. Like, he's not looking to go for trades. He doesn't want to even attempt to hazard the thought of trading because he knows that Peach can make one hit turn into a combo, turn into a stop. Yeah, that is the tough thing, too, because we've seen... I feel like Ling Ling, he'll go back and try to, like, take a breath, like, maybe pull a turn up or something, and both... Odyssey and Ray have been reacting with the auto reticle and just punishing him. Like, that's just a really good long range tool to keep the pressure on from Ling Ling no matter where he is on the stage. And it looks like Ling Ling, though, is going to opt for something with a little less real estate. It's going to be Battlefield trying to keep the battle a little more tight. Like you said, Hangman, the combo potential on this character, Peach, crazy scary. It's nuts. And this is an especially good stage for, for considering Smash Ultimate because up air is a lot better of a tool just for sharking through raw damage. Mm -hmm. And then Link could string that into a hit. We've seen up air go into down tilt, and that tends to start a lot of those famous Twitter combos. <laughs> um, but aside from that, it's just a lot in Peach's kit that gives her the opportunity to threaten space on this stage. And I feel like that's going to be super important for fighting any Palutena. Yep. On the other side, too, though, you have to be so scared of Ray. Like, his combos have been very nice so far, and if he can use those platforms to extend them, potentially carry off the top with an up air, it's going to be scary for Link. He's got to be really careful where he positions himself just like that. The explosive flame, not quite enough power yet. Ray's going to keep throwing him out, though. Looking for the counter. Ling, not getting caught by it, though. All right, that's an option that we've seen a couple of times from multiple power tennis today, is trying to go in for this counter, expecting some sort of a ledge uh, ab uh, above the ledge recovery. Oh. Do you see him jump? My God, that was the Matrix right there. He just reacted to that so, oh my God. I don't know if he reacted or it was natural or something, but that was really close. I think the bottom of that dress is singed. Dude, Explosive Flame forces some kind of reaction. Doesn't matter if it hits. Oh. Just for the fact that it takes up so much space, it's just so dangerous. Palatine is bringing so much to the table once he plays. Got Nairs, and this is what I'm talking about, getting caught in that platform. That's gonna be three Nairs, and looking for the auto reticle. It's interesting. Oh, scooping from underneath the ledge. Yeah. The up smash, very nice. Ray, man, that was really, really smooth. He's been playing so well lately. Yeah. And I brought this up earlier, but like, he's just gonna SD as I guess him up. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Wait, do you, hold on a second. I, what, uh, you willed that into the world. You said he's playing so well, and then he's like, you know what? Uh, Palutena, I can recover from, oh, Ling Ling with the offense. Okay, that's what we're talking about, man. Peach, never out of a, never out of a game, never out of set. No, absolutely, as long as, long as the Peach has somewhere to land to reset their combo, there are always one combo away from taking your game back. So it looks like Ling Ling's, you know, he's starting to adapt to the explosive flame and he's jumping over it. That's his new option. Instead of being forced to go low, it's really smart and it's actually really working out for him. I feel like in other situations, Ray would have already scooped the stock off stage, but Ling opting for the double jump is a really good adaptation. Well, every time Ling is forced to recover low, it's usually Parasol, which can get caught out by back air. And we've seen that multiple times already. If he's coming in from high, he has all his aerials still at his disposal. And then if he manages to hold on to it, Float, which just is going to completely open up a realm of opportunity. Speaking of, I mean, Float opening up realms of opportunities, looking for that Tomahawk was so quick by Ling. And he has fought his way back into this battle. Just like that, both these players, you know, ooh, pretty even in percentages here. Good use of the Nair there by Utopian Ray. Almost taking the stock from dead to center stage. Oh, goodness. That's definitely going to do it, though. The explosive flame. Ling Ling potentially on his last stock of this tournament. Hangman, can he fight back? He's, like I said earlier, he's always got the opportunity. And Utopian Ray sitting at really high percentages. He's going to mess up <laughs> some of his combos. And just like that, calling out with the up smash. That's another move that has upper body invincibility. So... <laughs> Ray has to respect some things. The composure, character. the composure by Lingling Ling was amazing there because he got hit by the very last hit of Palutena's Nair, and he was looking to punish it and take the KO. Instead, he just kind of nodded, accepted that he was in the disadvantage now, and got a KO super quick. That is really good presence of mind and really good discipline by Lingling Ling to not get flustered there. Both of these guys are so stone-faced when you play. Honestly, you wouldn't know that this is top eight of a tournament if you looked at their faces. They look like they're waiting for a bus. <laughs> yeah, they're chilling. Do they know? Never mind. Anyway, in there, <laughs> Ling Ling with the offense. He took the jump too, but Ray able to maneuver his way back down to the stage, able to find a back air. This is danger for Ling Ling. This time he opts to float. Okay. Oh, okay. Great job by Ling Ling baiting that out. Now it's Ray who's Ooh. in trouble. What's he going to find? Oh, Ray. So smart. He's... Oh, back air. That's going to do it. That's yep. going to do it. Ray taking your 2-0. Ray, you know what he did a couple times throughout that game, too? Is that he used teleport instead of going to the ledge. Because being trapped at the ledge sucks. Like, it still does. Like, it's still... You don't want to be doing it. So what Ray would do is look for Ling Ling, trying to reach out, trying to catch him off stage, and he would just teleport to center stage. So smart. Just get yourself out of that situation. You're Palutena now. Pizza's on the ledge. Life is good.